Hey guys, quick video on using the crank lock tool on an Audi 40 valve V8. Um, I, I know that uh, getting that crank lock tool started can really be a pain. A, a lot of people have struggled with it, myself included, and you know, you can kill an hour trying to get the plug out and then get the tool in. And between this, this way of getting to the, uh, to the plug and the newer updated tool, it really is like a five minute job now. So I'm hoping that'll help a lot of people. So first things first, there's two versions of the tool. I found this out a couple of years ago. And if you have the old version, it is here. And the part number is T40237. That's the shorter of the two. If you have the older version of this, throw it in the garbage. And I'm not saying that to be dramatic, it just doesn't work. Um, so you want this, makes all the difference. And the other thing I've found is, instead of trying to pop the wheel off and go in through the side, it's a lot easier to just stick your arm up between one of the suspension cross members. I've done this on a D2, this is a D3. So I stick my flashlight right up there where the motor mount is the pan over. This will be a little shaky for a second. Uh, if you look right up there. Uh, let me just point it out. So I've got my arm going up here behind this cross member. And sorry, that's a little shaky there. So I don't know if I can't remember on the D2 if this oil cooler line is in the way but the plug is right here, but you need to undo this just so you have a little bit of room. Otherwise, the okay. uh, it's in the way to get the plug in. And my finger right now is on that crank lock plug. So with a short 3 8 drive and 8 millimeter to get the plug out, 10 millimeter to put the tool in, it's a piece of cake. I mean, literally five minutes once you have the set at top dead center. So update the tool and try this method of access. I think you'll find it a lot easier. Hope that helps. Talk to you.